Keith McGill has made us laugh many times on Great Day Live as a comedian, but this morning he's joining us to invite you to experience a performance of another kind. Touted as an interactive show that transports audiences to pivotal moments from the civil rights era, Nation in Crisis, an original Commonwealth Theater Center production, was written and directed by Keith to, in his words, bring history forward so we can learn about it and learn from it and learn how not to repeat it. Keith, I'm glad to have you here this morning along with Jackie Blue, who is the show's sole performer, but let's start with you. When did you write this and why, beyond what I've already quoted you as saying, why did you feel the need to write it? I wrote this show probably about 15 years ago when I think about it. It's been a long time. Originally, it was a show written by Nancy Niles Sexton, who founded Walden Theater, which is now a Commonwealth Theater company, Commonwealth Theater Center. And it was just about one facet of history. It's about the Tuskegee Airmen. And the students couldn't really relate. And I said, um, well, what history do you know about? And they would tell me about Rosa Parks. They would tell me about Emmett Till. They would tell me about um, segregation and separate water fountains and all of that. And I said, well, let's do a show so that students can understand this is what African-American history was. And this is how people overcame it. That is stunning to me that you wrote this so long ago when regardless of where people are in their life today, many people would say this is a nation in crisis. Why is it so important though, Keith, I mean, you're making these virtual performances available. We'll get into the nitty gritty on how that happens, but why do you think it's important, especially today for people to take part in what is going to be an interactive experience? It's so amazing to me how much of history is repeating itself. Um, for example, in the case of Emmett Till, uh, a young black man who was was murdered um, for being a black man, that still happens today. There's still discrimination and and people need to be able to look at discrimination in history and realize, wait, it's repeating itself so that it doesn't continue to repeat itself again and hopefully people can look at history and find its relevance now and understand what we can do differently jackie define your role in nation in crisis well i'm the actor in nation in crisis it is a one uh one person show this is uh, something i took over from keith he was doing it himself and so when i came on board to perform it we revamped it a little made some of the characters female and I also added music um, just because I'm a musician personally, and I really feel strongly that music has um, been the soundtrack to the African-American experience, especially during civil rights in this country. So you'll see me performing um, a plethora, I think eight it is, different characters, ranging from a Tuskegee Airman to um, Mamie Till, Emmett Till's mother um, after his death, and Martin Luther King and Malcolm X in a debate um, style of doing two of their speeches. Considering the things that we're watching and participating in, depending, you know, on, on what it is that you're doing in this moment of history, as we are making history as a country for better or worse, what is that like as black individuals to not only be able to provide this interactive experience, but to part partake in it, really. I mean, and Jackie, as a performer, to embody these characters. And Keith, I mean, these are words that came from your hands. What is that like? Uh, I'll speak first. For me, it's, I'm not a person who protests. I admire and I respect the bravery and, and fortitude of the people who protest. I'm an artist, and I feel like art can be socially relevant, can be social justice. A lot of times people can't ingest what you're trying to say to them unless it comes in a form that they can also listen and be entertained and be, be brought to insights through other characters. And I'm really proud to be able to, to use what I already know how to do to also contribute to the national conversation. Jackie, what about for you? Absolutely. For me, it's it's actually a dream come true. I've, I've been um, kind of a social justice uh, enthusiast for years. And so to be able to segue from doing musicals and plays 
um, to doing something that is so relevant is, um, number one, it, it can't get emotional at times, mm -hmm. especially when you're researching these characters and what they went through and embodying some of the painful um, experiences that they went through. Um, it, it can get uh, overwhelming at times as an actor, but that's the kind of work that, that really compels you and makes me feel personally fulfilled. And I just love the idea and the fact that I'm able to bring this content um, that ultimately uplifts my people to, uh, to our community, to children in schools in our community and, and educate through it. I mean, I actually saw um, Keith on your Facebook page. I mean, this is rooted in reality and that's where I saw the event and just went, I, I need to know more. I can only imagine the emotion that will not only be experienced, I mean, Jackie, by you as performer and Keith, of course, but also by your audience. Let's talk for a moment about the interactive nature. There is going to be a Q&A after each of the performances. Keith, what can people expect from that? And also why? There have been a lot of virtual performances that don't have that opportunity for audiences to actually have a back and forth and engage. I really feel like watching this and watching these events, people have questions. People want to express themselves. People want to have a discussion. And art is great, but if art in a vacuum doesn't move the conversation forward. So being able to do this virtually, first of all, to reach so many more people, which one of the, the things that happened during COVID was that we had to pivot into a more virtual form of entertainment. And, and because of that, we are able to reach more people. And now those people can respond much more easily to the art. If you go to a theater and see a show and you walk out, you can have a conversation with the people you came with. You can talk about it to your friends later. But with this, you can comment in real time on what's happening right now. So we have a chat feature where people can put comments in the chat or put questions in. And then afterward, Jackie and I will be able to talk to people about how we felt about doing it, about what we think the relevance of what we've just done is. They can ask us questions and we can talk to them directly. Jackie, final question for you. What is one takeaway? What is one thing that you want people after they watch this to walk away with? Um, I think uh, the main takeaway I would love is that um, Black people are beautiful and that we are just like the rest of the people in this country, that a lot of the things that we've experienced through oppression in America, we aren't the only ones who experience that. And so um, I think by understanding and confronting the nature of racism in America, um, in, in particular with Black people, you can understand how we can avoid and how we can work to um, to stamp out racism and bigotry across the board with LGBTQIA, with women, with Latino, Mex Latinx, everyone who experiences this kind of oppression in America can learn something from the Black experience and how we've approached fighting back. Absolutely. Thank you to you both. Nation in Crisis, a special virtual event, is January 16th and February 6th, both at 2 and 7 p.m. Tickets are only $10 per screen and available at commonwealththeatercenter.org.